I want to wish everyone a very Merry Christmas. These are technically the second half of the full moon in Gemini readings that happened on the 19th. The day is the 21st, which means that these readings are good for another 12 days. Okay, because I'm two days behind. <laughs> But uh, they'll, they'll be good for another 12 days, okay? So today is the 21st. And I, I figured these are going to be good until the 1st or 2nd, I think, of January. So I'll probably come back and do some more on New Year's Eve or around there, okay? So we're going to start with the first sign, which is Capricorn. It's Capricorn season, everybody. Happy Capricorn season. Uh, I just happened to be said Capricorn. And I sense that us Cappies are going through something. I'm pulling out the whole thing here for Capricorn because, well, I am a Capricorn. And it's Capricorn season, so you get a full reading, right? Let's see what else we got here for Capricorn. Or at least get 10 cards. That's just the way it's got to be. Okay, and I might even pull out an extra card because I came out with two cards. So I just wondered if, if there's any final clarifying card, anything you want me to see. There was something that poked out, but wasn't definitive. I just sense that there is, yeah, I, I could feel there was another card. Okay, so here we go. Uh, the first card, Capricorn, is the Two of Swords. Two of Swords. I think that some Capricorns, um, you really can't see what's going on. And you might feel that, like you really just can't tell. You can't really see or make out what's going on. And I ought to be ashamed of myself. Not only did I come here as a Capricorn, without doing my hair, because you just get in the natural right now. But I didn't put on no makeup. I just realized I don't even have one eye makeup. Sorry. I'm here, and I'm doing this. And that's what this is like. Um, I didn't even look at myself. And I think this might be something that Capricorns are doing. We're, we just are not seeing things, because we're not looking there. Our, our eyes are closed. In this case, she's blindfolded. They're, they've, you know, they're keeping her where she can't really see what's happening. And you might be in a situation like that. But look, here's a hierophant. I think some Capricorns are learning something new. It could be that you're learning something new. You're teaching something new. It could be that you're in something that could become a traditional a relationship, a, a, like a partnership or marriage. I think it's about learning, though. It's about doing the right thing, doing the traditional thing. Um, yeah, I have a feeling you're learning from a teacher. Whatever it is, Capricorn, I sense that you're in the, the midst of a death and rebirth cycle. And what that means is, I mean, hopefully it's not a literal death and or rebirth you know that type of thing but i think that there's for some capricorns we have to start over i mean it if it's not working it's it you have to start over and so it might be you're in this situation where you know it's this new beginning it's this new opportunity this new chance because something else didn't work out and you got a new opportunity here's the two of cups Two of Cups relationship card. Maybe you got a new chance at a relationship. I I do sense that you're worried though. Look at that. Nine of Swords. That's like crying and worrying and bad dreams and nightmares and just not thinking. And what I call the stinking thinking card. So whatever you do, stay in your integrity. Stay in that inner place of you know, of peace, of power. Don't lose your equilibrium. Find your sense of equilibrium and stay in that place of balance. It's important. In the current position, the queen of wands, you know, she brings the fire. 
She is the beautiful queen. Lots of friends, lots of um, dresses well, gets along well with people. She's the beautiful queen and well-loved, and she starts things. And right after her is the emperor. You know, this is a lot of fire. This, I mean, that could have been an Aries woman. Here's an Aries man. But, I mean, this is a lot of fire back-to-back -back like that. So maybe this is about, maybe you're dealing with an Aries man. Um, maybe this Aries man is bringing some fire into the, the life of Capricorn. Uh, that could be part of it. Or a boss, a leader, someone that you look up to. Perhaps it's your boss or someone in a position of power. Whatever it is, here's the Six of Pentacles. That's the give to get card. That's saying the more you give, the more you get back. The more you give out, the more will come back to you. So be sure to give. And here it is, my favorite card. And you got it, Capricorn, because Capricorns are ruled by Pentacles. But it's the Ten of Pentacles, my favorite card. I love this card. This is what I call the everything card. This is getting everything. And you earned it, right? If you get it, I'm sure you earned it. But it's getting everything. It's getting the love. It's getting the relationship. It's getting the dog, the, the, the car, the house, the children. I love the photo. If you can see it closely, look how beautiful that is. Just everything you got. All you need. All your needs fulfilled. Just remember to give to get. The more you give, the more it's coming back. And it ends on the wheel. And I love this. It's almost like she's balancing on the wheel there. It's like balancing on the wheel of fate. And I feel like some Capricorns are able to do that. Just know that that's what's going on. Stay positive. Stay upbeat. Know that you've got this potential to, to have whatever it is you want. Uh, but you have to balance yourself on the will of fate. On the bottom of the deck, the Ten of Cups. So yes, Capricorn, you are getting your emotional fulfillment. You are, I mean, I sense that. The two tens though uh, showing up tells me something's ending sooner than you thought it was. Maybe you are Capricorn that's been dealing with poverty or dealing with loneliness, or dealing with something, and you just felt like it was never going to get fixed. But out of the blue, suddenly, when you least expected it, something comes along and puts that fire and desire back in your belly with that Queen of Wands in the current position. Maybe it is your boss. Maybe it is this emperor that puts the fire back in your loins or whatever, <laughs> definitely into your work, right? So um, I believe that. So that's no matter what, as long as you can get that passion and drive back Capricorn during Capricorn season, I think you have the potential to have victory. So we'll see, right? Because we're at the first day of Capricorn. We'll see by the time I come back to do the next reading on the first, how things have progressed for Capricorn, okay? So much love, much light, many blessings to you, Capricorn. Happy Capricorn season. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, happy new year, and anything else you, you celebrate like Kwanzaa or whatever, happy, okay, and merry. <laughs> much love and light to you, Capricorn. Bye.
presenting astrology and tarot readings for all.